Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Adrian Hodges. I'm a clarinetist with the U.S. Army Band Pershing Zone, and today I'd like to talk to you about some tips for how to hold your clarinet. We're going to start by setting our clarinets down and going into a standing position. All right, now from here, go ahead and touch your toes, and then gradually, slowly roll up, feeling like it's one vertebrae at a time. As you get towards the top, take your shoulders up, around, and down, so it feels like they're resting into the sockets. And we wanna have an open position where it feels like the middle of our chest is radiating outwards. We don't wanna have a collapsed or shrunken position because that's going to limit our air supply and also cause pain. So again, we're gonna be looking like this. Now go ahead and bring your hands up and wiggle your fingers. Excellent. Now go back to your seat. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to look down at the ground. Go ahead and do that. And then we're going to gradually rise. Raising our shoulders and having them come down into the socket. Good. Nice open chest. It should feel again like the middle is going out. And we don't want to be shrunken like this. Now go ahead and bring your hands up like you're going to play the clarinet. And what you're going to be looking for here is that your hands are in a curved C position as you're looking down. So it look, should look something like that. Okay. And notice how my fingers are curved in kind of a rainbow shape. So go ahead and check for that. And now wiggle your fingers pretending that you're playing and keep those fingers in a nice curved position. We want to avoid like flat fingers or tense fingers, relaxed, rounded. Good. Now, as you grab your clarinet, I want you to make sure that your clarinet is coming towards your body. So we, what we want to avoid is this kind of thing. Okay. That's going to cause a lot of tension and you're not going to get the kind of air that we need. So go ahead, go back to that nice, open, excellent posture. Bring your clarinet to your body. So everything here is staying the same. Your clarinet comes to your body. Good. Now take a look with your eyes down at your fingers. And what you want to look for is that curved C shape that we were just working on. If your fingers are flattened out like this, you want to adjust that so they're nice, and relaxed in that C shape. So go ahead and look for that. And a uh, couple more things to keep in mind. One is that you're going to want the fingers to kind of rest just over the hole that they would press. Okay, so we're looking for this. We don't want to have like that going on. We want them to all be kind of ready to go. Another thing to watch out for is we do not want this. We don't want the right index finger to rest under that E flat key. And so we want just a nice rounded position and there's some space between your index finger and the clarinet keys. Good. The other thing to look out for is your thumb. Okay, so we want the thumb to be covering this hole or resting over it, but also able to press the register key. So I like doing it at about a 45 degree angle. Some people do it a little differently. It just depends on your thumb shape but this works for, for a lot of people and you want to make sure that you have the ability to press that register key from your resting thumb position. All right, so let's go ahead and try that one more time. So I want you to bring your shoulders around and down. Good. Nice open radiating out chest. Now bring your clarinet to your body. Good. Look down, check for that C shape in your hands and then just gently move your fingers, maintaining that relaxed curved position. Nice, I hope this was helpful, and check out some of my other technique videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.